We are still working blindly in Africa. Uh, we don't have uh, the required knowledge about MPOX, natural history, uh, transmission dynamics, uh, risk factors of MPOX, and essentially you need to understand your context. You need to understand your disease for you to develop or design preventive strategies ag ag against such a disease. And that's a significant limitation and that tells us that we need to invest in uncovering, understanding our disease uh, better. Mpox is uh, evolving rapidly. Uh, the fact that uh, TA2B evolved over a period of five years to a new strain, and now we are having TA1 evolving rapidly to a new strain. We are not too sure what new strain will emerge in future and uh, the implication of such uh, new strains. I'm concerned because 
this is now a sexually transmitted infection. And we have seen how sexually transmitted infections can spread in Africa. We don't need to look very far, you know, look to our own country and see how a sexually transmitted virus can spread. So its potential to spread is there. What we need to do is to try and take all our concerted measures to prevent that from happening. So we need to act now to prevent the worst case scenario. Let's just be quite clear here. You know, many countries in Africa have a tuberculosis problem. And tuberculosis is controlled exactly in the same way. It's case identification, contact tracing, and vaccinating and monitoring and treating, uh, giving prophylaxis to contacts. So it's, this is not rocket science. We do this for other infections. And so we can do it for MPOX.